Uh, this is a scene from Person of Interest. You're having a, um, a shootout in here, obviously. So uh, let's just play it and we'll talk about what we're seeing here. <laughs> Weren't they hungry? Samaritan wants to fight. I say we go down swinging. Remember the Alamo? More than a thousand. So we have a moment stand. where we have we a dip a in the sound effects where they've got some dialogue and stuff going on. Offstage gunshots. It's a hell of a time for your machine to go on the fritz, Harold. Give it a second. It's got a lot on its mind. We're doing slowing down everything here. Dialogue and effects all slow down to slow motion for this scene. Got some kind of fun sound design here, the slow motion sound effects. There you go, nice kind of a fun little scene to, to look at there. And obviously the biggest thing that's happening here are, um, are the gunshots. So let's actually solo up the uh, sound effects. So let's go back to that section there. So this little this little section, there's several people shooting. So what my sound designer has done is he's um, he's made several tracks of the different guns. So let's see which gun this happens to be. So it's one of the bad guys' guns. Is that track? Let's see if we can find one of our main character gun. I think. Uh, Let's look down here. Go to, oh, Reese, Reese is one of our main guys here. He's on um, channels uh, 33 to 34. Let me just uh, solo him up here. So this is our main character. Here. So right at that spot, you can see him on camera and off camera. Now, if you're looking at my Pro Tool screen, you can see the ML4000 working pretty hard there to try to uh, contain some of this stuff. And what we have to do in TV is we have to stay within a certain limit. We can't, um, not only loudness level, but we can't go over, um, minus two is what we're, we're stuck with. So I'll use the ML4000 to, um, you can see here actually that I'm, boost, I'm actually boosting the level um, to um, minus seven with a ceiling at minus two. I'm boosting at five dB, but what you're not seeing, uh, let me pull up the other side of that chain. At the front of my chain, um, I'm actually, um, with the ML4000 2 channel, I'm actually dropping the level. So what I, I like to do is, um, so that I get good gain, but I'm not clipping the plugins like my EQ in the middle, um, I lower the sound coming in. So if you look at the ML4000 2 there, it's actually, um, I'm not looking at the center channel, let's look at the center channel so we can see that. So see how I'm, um, I'm actually lowering it 5 dB going into my chain, and then on the back side, looking at the, um, the multi-band, I'm boosting it back up again and getting some multi-band compression. So that's, that's helping me to um, not only um, get a little more loudness level, but it's protecting my chain from, um, from going into clipping. So let's look at what we might do for, um, for mixing his gun there. Most of the guns are made up of, um, of multiple channels. So let's look at his guns again on 233. You're not seeing my uh, timeline here, but um, Reese's gun is made up of three mono effects and three stereo effects. So when I'm mixing this, I might go through and, um, and solo those. So the first one's on channel 36. And that's actually just the sound of, um, of his, the trigger. Uh, the next sound I might have is um, it's a mono gun. It's actually more of a sound of a silencer than uh, the next stereo track. So the combination of those is what makes up the gun. And so what I might do is I might um, I might EQ one of those. Um, you see, I have the um, um, the filter bank um, E606 there, and I have that mapped into. Um, into my um, surface here, so I can actually, if I want to make it a little, a little less high end, or if I wanted to add a little bit of um, low end boost, I might add a little low into that. And then I might go in and I might, um, I 
I might add a little bit of sub to that. So I can add some sub. And you see my meter, um, I'm actually using a, um, the uh, pro limiter on the bottom. It's not actually limiting, but I, I use that as a meter so I can see what I'm doing with my effects chain. So you can see when I add more sub, you can actually see the uh, more sub to the mix there. So I'll go through each one of these guns as sort of a pre-dub and do a combination of EQ and panning and then write that for the whole scene for each one of those guns. Here's another um, kind of fun set of tracks are the, um, all the ricochets for this scene. Let me play some of those. It's on tracks 41 to 48. So all those, all those layers of things are um, on different sets of tracks, which my sound effects editor has organized in a way so that it makes it easier for me to mix. So I can go through and very easily instead of, you know, I, I have a total of um, 80 sound effects tracks here, and he's separated into 10 groups of eight, which are, all have VCA faders with them. That makes it easier for, for me to mix. Otherwise, to try to organize all that stuff would be very difficult. And if we run down later in that, uh, that scene, there might be all kinds of cool things that they, we've actually muted these tracks because we've done cut effects for those, but later in the scene when all the, those fruit and things are exploding, we might have a bunch of effects for the glass and the water. And all those are things that are recorded on the Foley stage that will uh, blend them with the other sound effects. Then of course in this scene, um, we ended up doing this whole uh, slow motion thing, which is sort of a fun thing to do um, for the sound designers. It's not just typical sound effects. They're actually pitching things down. Uh, let's hear a couple of the layers that he put in there for that. I'm going to solo the sound effects in that little section one more time. And let's hear some of the sound effects he put in here for the slowdown stuff. <laughs> So now you hear some of those, uh, some of those gunshots, and they're, they're pitched down. And we've also put some, uh, some reverb on them and stuff to make them sort of sound slow. Anyway, so that's scene of sound effects.